Millions of people are targeted by frauds and scams each year. According to the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, consumers reported losing over $1.6 billion to fraud in 2013. So how do fraudsters make initial contact with you? According to FTC complaint reporting data, 40% of consumers said they were first contacted by telephone, another 33% contacted through regular email, and 5% reported mail. Avoid becoming a victim. Ask yourself the following questions. Have you checked your credit report and credit score lately? Federal law allows you to review your credit report from each of the three major credit reporting agencies at annualcreditreport.com. Have you reviewed your banking statements or online banking activity recently? Check your balances frequently on a secured network. Be sure to look for any unusual activity. Do you shred documents with personal and financial information? Credit card offers, financial statements, billing statements, anything with personal identifying information should be shredded. When shopping, are you using your credit card or debit card? Federal law limits your liability to $50 for unauthorized use of your credit card. And you may find that credit unions typically have a zero liability policy on fraudulent transactions for credit cards. Be smart with your cards and remember to monitor activity to catch any unauthorized transactions. Have you downloaded an unknown app or an app that requests access to your personal data onto your smartphone or a social networking profile? Certain apps siphon your personal information and sell it to marketers or other third parties. Be sure to read the privacy policy and disclosures of each app before downloading. Do you pay bills on your smartphone or access sensitive personal data while on an unsecured network? Ensure you are using a trusted bill payment app through your credit union or financial institution. Avoid conducting any transactions while connected to a public or unsecured network. Fraudsters will often pose as financial institutions, government agencies, service providers, and others. They will try to trick you into giving out personal identifying information that they will use to compromise your identity or gain access to your accounts. Remember, resist pressure to act quickly. Always verify the legitimacy of the request.